I prepared a presentation about the back trends for you today. I hope that it's going to be useful. I can tell you that I really like trends. And it's not because it's something that changes and you can buy like tons of stuff. Of course, I like to buy tons of stuff, but it's not the case. Because for me, the main goal is finding for yourself, like for your personality, something which is really interesting and something that you weren't even thinking about. Let's take like a simple example, wearing two bags together or three bags together or wearing a really small bag. Maybe you already have it in your wardrobe, but you never use it because you have no idea how to wear it and with the trends it's more like styling you can see that for example with this item I can wear this one or like this item that I already had 10 years in my wardrobe or my mom had it I can wear it right now and it's gonna look fantastic that's the reason and also try not to think with the outdated mentality what's that it's when you think that oh this item I can wear this I uh, because it's trendy and uh, that item I can't wear because it's not trendy no the best way to look contemporary to look trendy is to check the shapes of the items the shape in general for example if it's something elongated or bigger or structured bigger shoulders slimmer bottom or both maybe because now almost everything is trendy the only shape that they wouldn't recommend you is for example totally skinny shape but I don't speak about uh, the slim dresses if it's an item that has to be like really slim in this case Definitely you need a body-hugging item. Try to look in general. Try to separate your image from something that is in your head. You can also take time. Going to the store, taking the pictures or asking someone to take you the pictures and then returning back home and checking, hmm, I loved this item. Now it looks much better than I thought in the store. And the last advice for this part is don't buy right away. Try it try a lot, buy online and then return it, don't afraid to return things. It's not like everything fits everyone, like online you can't really see how do the materials look like on your body, how do you, how do you feel with this item, so buy and return. That's the secret. The trends, the general part. First, that is important, is simplicity. That you can take something and just wear it right away, without any preparations. Now it's trendy not to look too prepared. For example, bag matching your shoes or everything perfectly done, your hair, your makeup, whatever. You always have to have something which is not perfect. I hope that you like this trend. The second thing is that it has to be practical. What is practical? After started, the sale of the bags, they dropped a lot. Now it's much better, but still. So the brands that are doing bags, they created this kind of trend that you can wear like a lot of bags together to sell more bags. For example, you can wear the shoulder bag and directly on the shoulder bag you can add three more bags or four more bags together. Then the premium quality. It's very important. The premium quality also connects with the second one that I'm gonna mention. Because people tend to buy less, so in this case you would prefer better quality. It's reasonable. It's better to have one bag from a nice brand instead of having 50 bags of Sara. As you could see, a lot of models, for example, they're wearing the same stuff. They have one item that they like, the shoes or the bag, and they're wearing it a lot. A lot of brands also are adding repair services or personalization, so you, you can make this item really yours or repair an old one or change an old one for a new one for lower price, these kind of things. The next one, which I already told that is connecting with premium, is sustainability. Every year it's getting bigger and bigger and to keep the world better we need to follow this trend. I think it's really important. We have so many nice brands and it's so difficult sometimes to be sustainable but that's where we all need to go. In one part it's a little bit fake because brands are trying to sell us sustainability, you know, so you can buy more something more sustainable but still buying more which is going in the opposite direction but whatever sustainability the items that you can wear during a long time natural materials recycling responsible leather and general responsible materials that's what a lot of brands are aiming for and the last big one in more particular is 90s aesthetics these are vintage icon bags in the calm classic shades Okay, this is for general ones and now we're going to move to the particular shapes. 
and I'm gonna open the presentation for you so we can see the pictures. The first one is a bowling bag. I really love it. I think it's cute. Actually, I like a lot of trends, but I'm gonna tell you what's my favorite. Like, this one is one of my favorite. Actually, for me, it's not that comfortable because I prefer something which has longer strap that you can wear on your shoulder or you can wear crossbody, a shorter crossbody. I don't really like longer crossbodies for now. The style of this bowling bag, it has to be really simple, minimalistic, with metal and nice structured leather. You can also buy more sustainable items like vegan leather. It's a little bit discussable that vegan leather is more sustainable than the real one, but whatever. Also, new book, which is the cheaper version of leather or recycled leather. Here you have the examples. Look, they're super cute. Uh, I can tell you that my favorite is from her. I don't know if it, I pronounce it good. And uh, the other one that I really love is from Gude. It's a Korean brand. I'm gonna leave you the links below of all the bags, so if you like some of them, you can buy. There is also a more expensive from Burberry, for example, which is also a bowling bag, a bigger one. It's from the crocodile leather, also structured leather, but more expensive. And this couple of bags from Demeriel, they're also cute. They remind me a little bit of Jack Moose because of the hangers. You can see that the shape is quite similar. I would really recommend this style if first you're like a really classy person and you want something more calm and more timeless or if you're going to the office and you need a nice bag in this case the bowling bag is a perfect option normally all of them they also have longer straps or if you want you can wear it like in your hands or you can wear it with a longer strap it doesn't matter both ways are fine the next ones I already mentioned them are the small bag transformers like you can wear a lot of small and cute bags all together. It's more like styling than utility, I can tell you. you know, or you can just put your iPhone in one of the bags and uh, the other stuff in, in a bigger one. I think that the more practical way is to use a big one and also a small one or two small ones. It depends on your taste. Here is the option how you can use it. All of them are super nice. From use of is more unique. As you can see, you can also style it on your waist. It's not that the bag is made like that. If you like the styling, you can do it with whatever bag you want with a detachable strap. Just detach it and put it on your waist and that's it. I also really like the other two they look really cute. It's more for girly preppy style, but it's not like oh, you can only wear it with this kind of styles like a jacket or a white shirt. No, you can combine it also with a sweatshirt. It would look really nice. For example, I personally would combine it with a big, bigger sweatshirt and bigger pants, but it's really personal. These bags, they actually look more like purses on the chains. And uh, for example, if you love Chanel and other brands, but they're not very affordable for you for now, you can buy a small wallet from that brand that you like and combine it with a bigger tote bag or a shoulder bag. If you really like this preppy style, you can also combine these bags, pearls and uh, chains. You can just wear them or add them directly to the bag, it's going to look cute. Cross on one shape bag. This one is really universal and I would tell not seasonal. The focus is on the main shape. As you can see, it's like a cross-on moon shape. It seems like for bowling bag, it's better to choose something without any details and with more classic colors. It can be more structured, like this too, for example, from Dekel and Mansur Gabriel, or more relaxed one, more casual, like Nick and Nicole. I actually really like this one. I also have one cross-on bag from Reikinen, and it goes with everything, so I would recommend you to buy a bowling bag or maybe this one. The next one is more statement and less classic. It's more like a color or the shape or both statement. It also doesn't have many details, but it has a very interesting shape. For example, this one, there are some other variants. Look, all of them are like in bold colors or some interesting colors, an amazing shape. What is good about this bag is that it won't go out of style really easy because it's something that you choose for your personality. If it's not a brand that appears everywhere, it's gonna be a good investment. Everyone is going to ask, where did you buy this bag? It looks amazing. But it has to be a bag for your own personality. It's not like someone is wearing it and you, you need it. No, it has to resemble something that you already have inside you. you. Try to opt for geometric and really weird shapes, minimum details, really structured. And I would recommend you to choose nice and juicy colors. Geometric top candle. I would tell that it 
this is the bag for like creative people, maybe also marketing or PR, something like that because it looks really modern and also classic. I really like this option from Stahl. They also make bags in different colors, which is nice. You can have various options. Here you can see more classic ones, but also really nice. This one from Loire had a really interesting photo shoot, as you could see. So the main focus in this bag is on the design, of course, and also all about quality because you want something that lasts. I would tell that it's the most comfortable bag after the backpack, so I would opt for at least one in your wardrobe. If you don't like it, you have tons of other options, but I prefer comfort, that's why for me it's one of the best options because you have free hands. So I think my favorite version is this one from Elegance Paris. I'm also gonna leave you a link below. There are different shapes, it can also be with a leather strap or the chain, it doesn't really matter. I would choose something more vintage like this this one for example. Sometimes when it's more vintage it looks more contemporary. It's funny but it's like it is. But this one for example it's a little bit too classic for me. I would prefer this one or the first one which is my favorite. Okay guys, okay, the next one is also one of the most comfortable and uh, typical bags that everyone wears. The most positive thing with this bag is that you can get it for whatever price. For example if it's a leather one, super nice. Uh, from the Bro brand you can pay, I don't know, $2,000, $3,000. Also, you can get a normal one from the museum. From the museums, they're perfect actually because they have nice design and nice quality normally. From the museum or like whatever store from Canvas, you're also gonna look stylish and cute. So it's one of the most sustainable bags, I would tell. Bigger is better. Here you can see one from Brian Schuler. It's amazing. I love it. I want it. I may check the link later, maybe I'm, I'm gonna buy it for myself because it looks so so cute. If there is no availability of this bag, I'm gonna check another one, the same style. But I really like that it has this kind of fringes. Uh, I can tell you that almost all items that have fringes, they look interesting. As I already told you, this bag has to be really huge, bigger better. I also work like a personal shopper, so when I need to bring a lot of items, this kind of bag is perfect. We already discussed that we can wear many bags together. For example, if you're wearing a big shopper, it's gonna be very convenient to wear a smaller bag, especially this kind of bag that we already saw before, like a nice one, cute one. It's a perfect pair, the big bag and the small bag. In building blog, you can see a big bag and a small bag. This is also a nice option, but it's a bit easier to rob if you have it in this variant because for example i live in barcelona and barcelona is horrible especially in the center it's really easy that they rob something so i would prefer a bag which you have near your body which is easy to keep safe the next one you can see is bottega veneta actually i have one bag from uterque because before i worked in uterque i have one bag which is really similar to this one so if you want i have it on vintage and it's new with tags it's a little bit smaller and more square but it's almost the same the quality is amazing of this bag in general the quality of Uterque was really really good now it's Massimo Dutti Studio so the quality is also good but still you can't compare the things from Uterque to Massimo Dutti the other version of the tote bag you can make it by yourself from different kind of materials the best way to do it is to steal something from your grandparents if they have an old blanket or even a carpet or old clothes you can combine this kind of materials all together you can even combine leather together with textile even towel if you want and this kind of bag is gonna be super trendy if you make it think about the combinations a little bit and choose different textures so it's gonna be more interesting and yeah you're gonna get it for free here you can see a very interesting option it's not really so comfortable i think but yeah it's it's a statement item definitely the volume bag is very popular during like three or four years already and it's gonna be popular for five ten years more so if you see one and if you like it don't hesitate to buy because it won't be out of style soon i really love this little version looks like a piece of art here you can see different variants of volume bag for example this one the kilted one awake mode also does almost the same stuff but more expensive i really love that this one is giant so it's more comfortable i would prefer actually this variant and i think it's from textile or from suede it's not from leather and it's also more comfortable you can use it like a pillow i also have one volume bag it's a really giant bag and it's very nice to use it when you're in the air 
bird plane you can use it as a pillow it's like a feeling that you have in your own bedroom but you just move it outside here you also can see the other versions i would choose a bigger one but if it's a small one it's also fine they also can be simple or geometric different type of quiltings it can be rounds or squares the materials can be very different it can be leather nylon textile it can be waterproof whatever bag that is big and puffy can work the next one is a constructor bag it also has this kind of comfort after covid vibe that you can combine it with everything and that you can change it and style it in the way that you want for example here you can see it seems to be that it's made from two bags but actually it's one that's why it has a very unique shape for example this one has a smaller pocket and this side has a bigger pocket it also has a detachable strap which is nice to have the base of these bags is functionality and multi-usage here are different bags this one that i love you just don't feel it when you wear it it's like you have a gilet you also can feel safer with this kind of a bag because it's more difficult to rob when you have it right here near your heart very functional a lot of pockets this version is just like a mix of different square shaped bags this one has different shapes and this one they're like the similar ones you can wear it like a belt or on your shoulder like crossbody the good thing with this kind of bags is that you can wear them in whatever manner you want and whatever manner you need the aesthetics of this bag is also minimal you can use different colors but normally one piece is only one color there are also variants with one bag and different pockets so you can add different pockets on this bag and change it as you wish I remember this lego constructor from your childhood i don't know if you had it I had it it's kind of this vibe when you combine different items that you already have and the craft basket craft basket is something inspired with sustainability it's more artisanal craft item because it reminds us something that is made in the special workshop in the village this one has very interesting geometric shapes in the middle i think that there is another basket inside or a textile so the things won't get out it's not as utilitarian as the other ones but it has its own character and especially it can work well in spring or summer the basket has to be structured preferably handmade using some different craft techniques and different contrast materials for example here you can see suede and leather and textile and maybe some raffia or here you can see the wicker basket with this rope I really like it actually they're not the best if you think about utility and comfort but they they definitely look nice also for these kind of shapes it's typical to have limited editions uh, limited collections drops uh, the colors and the textures they have to be neutral uh, have to be inspired by nature earth tones and craft materials so that's it for today we're done with back trends i hope that you found something that you really like please let me know in the comments what's your favorite i really would love to know and see you in the next video the battery of this camera is so bad it's like i i film 14 minutes and it's over